Hello everybody, this is a game called Outer Wilds. I wasn't sure what to expect when I downloaded it because there weren't even any screenshots, but one of the people I know uh, said it was surprisingly good, so I said, okay. And um, it's pretty amazing in its own little way, and I figured I'd make a little let's play of it just to try and give it a little bit more attention. This game is pretty rough. Uh, I recommend not changing the resolution, if you like to read words at least. Uh, and also, all of the controls are mapped to a 360 keyboard, a 360 controller, which we're not going to use here. So I'm actually going to show you the keys as we play, just because there are a lot of them. It's not difficult, but there are some little surprises here and there, and uh, it took me two tries to get it right. The last time I tried to record this, I realized it only recorded a tiny part of the screen, so I fixed that. I can't launch. Here's a guy. So it says X. That means E. So this is the game as presented, and uh, it's this charming little village full of people you can talk to. We're not going to talk to any of them, because I'm going to leave that to you. Uh, it's free, this game, so go, go get it and play it if this seems at all interesting. So this is what I thought we were getting into. We we're just getting this nice little game with a couple of small mini-games where we can fly around and, you know, just be cute here in a little village, kind of like an opening Zelda bit, you know, ooh. Um, how much fun is that? So, just so you know, uh, shift is right trigger and control is left trigger. Uh, so it's Kerbal controls, if you're familiar with that. And the very first time I flew it, I had absolutely no problems, but since I've flown the actual ship, um, I have become unable to fly that one. <laughs> <laughs> There's also a little satellite uh, repair bay thing, so you can practice your space uh, faffing about if you'd like. We're not going to because it takes a little bit of time. This guy here tells you how to use your telescope. So it says to press down on the right trigger. We don't have a right trigger, but we do have a middle mouse button. Most of these have their own little musical number. It's a very, uh, it's a very um, setting-heavy game. It feels really, really nice. Obviously, it's not astronomically correct, but th that's fine. Here's the observatory, and this is a uh, this is basically what I thought would be the end of the game. I was like, look at all these cool things we can do. We can link up to the satellite that's orbiting the planet and take pictures. So just so you realize, right button is linked to the right mouse button, and Y is linked to R. It's right next to X, so that makes sense that E and R are right next to each other, so you got... And I was like, so this is pretty cool. This is a neat little game. Oh, look, there's a trick here. <laughs> um, and all of these placards have things to say, and they're all very cute and funny. And I was like, oh, this was a great little game. Oh, and look, he even gives us uh, this, this story about how things are going wild up in the sky. Ooh, yeah, it'll make one heck of an expedition. Um, you know, it's a little game, though, so we'll never actually get it to go up there, will we? Hmm... Anyhow, you can press enter to close that map. Hmm, loading in a new scene. Hmm, this is made in Unity, which uh, is why it can be clumsy but still quite playable. And uh, that means that I know pretty well when, uh, when they're doing some Unity trick that they have to do to get around some in-game in in constraint, and when that loading screen popped up, I was like, oh, <laughs> they've changed scenes. I wonder what that means. So I was expecting the game 
Look at this cute little bug. I don't know whether it's inspired by Red Dwarf or a late 70s movie about a kid. But um, I was expecting the game to end right now. I was expecting that to be it. A cute little game where you run around in a village and talk to people. And do some mini-games. I can tell you what I wasn't expecting. free play around the solar system where you can land on anything you'd like. So left button is your right mouse trigger. By the way, each launch you just hold shift. It takes a second to actually kick in. So R switches us into landing mode and it'll automatically orient itself to whatever you've clicked on. And I see a little hut. Shall we go talk to the, whoever this dude is? I think there's got to be a dude near the hut, right? Let's try not to land directly on him. That sounds like it would be a little uncomfortable. Punk. And Q to exit out of that. Let's open the hatch. I've selected our ship before we get out, got out, because that makes it a little bit easier to find it later. Hey, who are you? It's a moon warden. Neat. Hmm, the North Pole, huh? Let's go check it out. Now remember, your mini-map is a globe, and we are on the surface of the globe. So, uh, ooh, ooh, this is quite pretty. Now if you pay attention when you're in the city, they say some dire things about your sun. Shall we take a look? Hmm, doesn't seem particularly dire. Maybe uh, if you play the game long enough, you'll figure out what's wrong with the sun. Or maybe not, who knows. Let's get back to our ship. Ooh, what's that? Maybe check that out next. F pops your flashlight up. But where's our ship? I've gotten lost. Oh, good thing I selected it, huh? Otherwise, I would have no idea where it is. So you can actually do uh, thrusters inside your suit, but keep an eye on your fuel. Your fuel and your oxygen will both uh, regenerate when you go back inside your ship, so it's not like there's a huge bonk, huge issue. Foosh. And this was our world. We could go land there again if we'd like. <coughs> Sorry, I still have the flu. wonder what this is. Moving fast. Hauling butt. <coughs> so this is the sort of game it actually is. That bit on the surface, that was just kind of an opening gambit to get you uh, trained up. Sounds like my coughing is coming back serious. Oh, look, it's moving like clockwork. In fact, I think it is clockwork. I was going to check out this volcano moon, but I want to know more about the clockwork moon. I didn't see any way to pay this guy for his game, but um, he did a real bang-up job. This is a really interesting little game. Let's switch into landing mode and... Uh, see what the inside of this moon looks like. I thought from the Earth, from the planet, that this... Oh, there, he loaded it in. Did you see that? Bonk. Oh, shoot. No, don't, don't, don't go out of control. I'd prefer not to die here. Oh, dear. This looks like it might be a little bit dangerous. Uh, hmm. Maybe I should go land somewhere a little bit... Uh, darn it. Uh. Let's go land on the outside where it's just a touch safer. I'm going to bounce off of something here. You can actually change where you're looking with the um, number keys. So right now we're on camera two, I think. We can change it to any camera we would like. I think there are four cameras. But at the moment, this camera is what I need because I'm just trying to park right here. Bonk. And let's get out and examine it in our suit. I must have walked away from the edge there. A 
Morning, exit ship to repair. Oh, did we break our ship? Oh, we did. We broke our ship. Sorry, ship. So we can actually launch a probe with the right mouse button. Nope, we can't. That's the left mouse button. There's the right mouse button. Oh, that is neat. We'll retrieve the probe and fire it in a different direction, shall we? I think we may have fired that a little too far. Ah, there, that direction has some stuff in it. This is a really neat game. Whoa. Um. Apparently this planet is dissolving? Or I got stuck on a piece of debris or something. Whoa. Oh, I think I died. I did die. So don't jump into black holes. Um, that's my advice if you play this game. Or maybe do jump into black holes. <laughs> so go and play this game if you would like to. It's a lot deeper than it looks.